Again, we are working on systems of linear equations two by two. That is two equations in two variables. We're going to use the substitution method again, but this time we're interested in how the substitution method reacts on what are called inconsistent systems. Let's remember the definition of an inconsistent system. Definition. A system of linear equations is inconsistent if there is no solution. Now, we don't know. Somebody told us to solve the system. How do we know when we've gotten to the point that there's no solution? And the answer to that question is, the system is inconsistent if, when we're solving it, we get a stupid statement like 2 equals 1. Mathematicians call a stupid statement a contradiction, but we can just call it a stupid statement, like 2 equals 1, 5 equals minus 3, 0 equals 4. So if we get a statement like that, that means we have an inconsistent st system. There is no solution. Okay, so we get this system. We have no idea. Maybe it has a solution, maybe it doesn't. Let's just try solving it normally using the substitution method. So, what is step one of the substitution method? Step one is pick one of the equations and solve it for one of the variables. So, let's take the top equation and solve it for x. That means we subtract 2y from both sides. So, x equals 5 minus 2y. We rewrite our second equation. So we're just continuing on. We have no idea whether the system is consistent, has a solution, inconsistent, has no solutions. We're just solving normally. So what do we do next? We take this expression that we got for the variable x and we substitute it into the other equation. So now the top equation becomes our dragger equation. We're just dragging it along. In the bottom equation, we substitute 5 minus 2y this everywhere we have x. Here's x and then we have plus 2y equals 2. And so we have our equation in one variable just like it should be. We're supposed to solve this equation for y. And so we drag our top equation along. And now we get ready to clean up this equation and we say 5 no problem, here's a 5. Minus 2y plus 2y. Uh-oh. They cancel. There's no y's left. We have an equal sign here, and on this side we have a 2. 5 does not equal 2. That's our stupid statement, our contradiction. And so we write down this system has no solution. That is the solution. That is the answer to solve this system of equations. This system has no solution. Let's think about this a little bit in terms of a graphical representation. If it has no solution, what's a solution of two equations and two variables? It's the intersection point of the two lines. This system has no solution, so there must not be an intersection point. What kind of lines have no intersection point? And the answer to that is parallel lines have no intersection. Here is x plus 2y equals 5. Here is x plus 2y equals 2. The lines are parallel. There is no intersection point, no solution. This is what we write down when given solve the system of equation. Do this normally, and when we get our contradiction, our stupid statement, we write down this system has no solution. Or we can write down this system is inconsistent.